Here's how simple it is to make this Y2K 3D extrusion with gradients in Illustrator. I'm gonna go with this logo as a reference. If you wanna check out how I made this, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. By the way, this is the width and the height. And from here, let's go to appearance. If you don't have it, you can go to the windows and select the appearance. All right, so let's go down, click on the fill. This is gonna add a stroke and the fill. I'm gonna go to the fill and I'm gonna change it to white. And I'm gonna add another fill. Let's go and select the bottom fill here. And I'm gonna change up the color to some gradient. Click on the gradient. And now I'm gonna go to the effects. Let's go to path and select offset path. I'm gonna offset with 12. Joins are gonna be around and I'm gonna click OK. So let's go back to the gradient. I'm also gonna change it to 90 degree angles and I'm gonna change up the colors to some purple, double click on the handle and I'm gonna go to the swatch and let's go and select the purple. You also can go to the color and modify it. There you go. And I'm gonna press and hold Alt and drag this gradient. I'm gonna drag the white down. So it's gonna remove it and I'm gonna bring this on the left, double click and I'm gonna make it lighter. I think this looks great. And now let's go to the fill and I'm going to duplicate it. So let's go ahead and drag and drop here to the plus. And let's select the bottom fill. And I'm going to go back to the gradient. And I'm going to go and make this purple even more lighter. Something like this. From here, we're going to go to the effects down here. And let's go to distort and transform. Select transform. And let's push this horizontal with two pixels and vertical with two pixels again. Click OK. And let's go back to the fill. And I'm going to drag and drop it into the plus. Let's select the bottom fill. And first I'm going to go to transform. I'm going to decrease the horizontal and vertical to one pixel and one pixel. And let's increase the copies. So this way it's going to create that 3D extrusion. Click OK. But now we're going to need to add shading to the 3D extrusion. So let's go back to the gradient. And I'm going to switch this color a little bit more. Maybe make it darker like so. So in order to make this work, I'm going to need to duplicate the handles. For example, I'm going to press and hold alt and bring this handle here. And I'm also going to bring the dark one on the left side and check this out. It is going to put shading on the extrusion and more contrast. So I'm going to multiply these and see what I'm going to get. I'm thinking to go with this and let's select this fill, drag and drop it into the plus. And we're going to go here to this fill, open it offset path and I'm going to increase it even more. Click OK and I'm going to change up the fill color to some toxic green. And pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching.